So we know whatever this other card is, it's a spell. I don't love to hear that. Oh, I need one more mana. I need one more mana for this lead for Flawless Duet. But you know, like this is this will be lethal with just these elusives if they don't have anything, but yeah, there's that spell. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zinnia's Destiny to kick off our meme tier Monday stream. That's right, it's going to be meme tier uh, day today. We have four pretty crazy meme tier decks. Uh, we're probably actually going to have four more meme tier decks tomorrow because I do have a lot of meme tier donation decks to get to. And so we're probably going to have to do two meme tier days this week. And then of course Wednesday we're going to have new cards and that's always super exciting. Um, but let's go ahead and get, get to our first deck here. This is going to be a basically all Ionia deck. As you see, we have 35 Ionia, 5 Targon. So we're going to be playing um, Kinku Wayfinder in here, with it being an, a basically all Ionia deck. And it has the Allegiance summoned to one-cost allies from your deck. And so we're going to get two of these awesome one-cost allies. Hopefully some Zoe. So we're going to have the Kinku, Kinku Wayfinder-Zoe combo. But that's not really what our deck's about, right? It's called Zinnia's Destiny. And why is that? Because we're going to be playing Zinnia, Steel, Crescendo, and Destiny's Call together. So we can uh, give the Zinnia plus eight, plus eight, be able to play it. Then it's a huge elusive that uh, Blade dances um, immediately as soon as you attack. So you get to attack with this thing twice the round you play it. And so we want it to be a really big elusive, um, you know, like 11 power, attack twice, get that combo uh, kill. And then plus, it, it, we also get to attack with it every single other time that we Blade Dance. So you know, whenever we play a De Defiance Dance or Flawless Duet or, um, you know, like any of those things, Ribbon ribbon Dancer, uh, Blossom Blade, anything like that, we get to Blade Dance and attack again with Zinnia. So yeah, it's going to be my first time really kind of trying out Zinnia and uh, seeing how this card looks. I think it could be pretty cool with the Destiny's Call. Uh, we also get to, um, we're going to try to make it cost less, right? Like it usually costs eight mana, but Green Glade Lookout has been buffed. It's now a two, two, two for two. So perfectly fine body, a two mana, two, two. And whenever it strikes, reduce the cost of your most expensive unit in your hand by one. So we can have our Lookout strike. Then, you know, now our Zinni is a seven mana card. And that just makes it a little bit easier to play it, right? Maybe we can get two strikes, make it a six mana card and so on. Um, but even if uh, if we don't have Zinnia, look out making like Blossoming Blade, turn it back into a four mana, right? Like a four mana Blossoming Blade, that's probably too good, right? Like that's probably a card they would nerf if, if you ask me. Um, so, you know, maybe we can make that happen. Or Wayfinder at three, Field Musicians at three, like those are all sound pretty awesome. So I'm pretty excited about the Green Glade Lookouts making any of these kind of cards cost less mana. Maybe even makes two mana Aurelia, who knows? All right, but that's going to be it. That's going to be our deck. We're going to go play five games just in normal because it's meme tier day, trying out some really fun decks. That's what it's about on meme tier Mondays is just having fun, seeing card interactions that you don't see very often, right? Like when do you ever see Zinnia and Destiny's Call? Probably not too much, so that's what it's all about. Okay, a couple one drops and a Wayfinder. I kind of like our hand. We can mulligan the sparring student, which I'm going to do that. Mulligan the sparring, sparring student basically to put it back in our deck so we don't have too many one drops immediately, especially if we find another Wayfinder. Okay, there's Zania. Um, I think I will... What do I want to do? We could play a Ribbon Dancer for just a blocker for the Sharkling. We could Twin Disciplines and save Zoe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do. If I don't play anything, then I can have Aurelia plus Flawless Duet. <sighs> I forgot how slow time moves. Yeah, time moves pretty slowly. Let's go Ribbon Dancer. 
Yeah, I'll save Twin Disciplines to protect Aurelia, or we will most likely get another Zoe anyway from the Wayfinder. Let's dance. So let's try to clear up their board a little bit. Lead and follow. Show him no weakness. We need more mana. Okay, we got our combo of Destiny's Call. Your rhythm's off. Okay. And of course, being able to go like lead and follow bounce like the Wayfinder means you can get like more one drops and everything like that too, which could be pretty cool. All right, let's hope hope we hit. Yeah. All right, got a Zoe and a dancing droplet. Okay, okay. That's that's cool. I'll take care of this. I think I'm just gonna trade. We have like this. Dancing drop that we can lead and follow and stuff too. I think that's okay. So, wait, did we just open a time? I, I don't have any reason to flawless do at first. All right, well, Flawless Duet into a Pike does, does not sound like a good thing to do. I don't know about y'all. I guess that would have been the reason to Flawless Duet first. Let me just save the spell mana. Yeah. I should play the super cool star chart first, which I guess I still get to do now. See if we get the stun. I want the stun card. We do not get the stun card. I can draw two? Or draw one? Sorry. Bounce Pike. This is gonna hurt. So next round, this thing costs seven. We'll have seven mana next round. I smell panic. Wow. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve damage. Elusive if they have nothing next round. If I just play Green Glade Duo into Zania. Oh wait, wait, no, I have eleven. We only blade dance one with this card. Okay. Um seven, eight, nine. I can't I can't go Destiny's Call plus duo. All right, so I think my plan... Yeah, I have a difficult turn, my man. Chill out. I think my plan's gonna be this. Droplet. So we know they have a wreck sign. Where they fall, freedom grows. Definitely wish this was 
homecoming to protect from the pike spell. I think this is what I gotta do. Alright, so assuming they're going to play Rek'Sai before attacking, we need to hit the double stun. Oh, uh, then how am I even blocking this Fearsome? I guess I have to... They're at four? Man, you'd do three? Hmm. No stun. No stun is no good. I I can't go for lethal. That's that's Yeah, like there is no lethal for me. All I can try to do is stay alive, but this thing if they lurk I lose cuz this thing gets 10 power and then overwhelms so I lose. So that's um, that's basically the game right now. If I, if they, if they lurk, I lose. So, they got a miss. I still, all my stuff's dead and none of their stuff's dead because of Pike, right? So, like, everything's dead because of Pike, but they got a miss. They did not miss. The Rex that kills me. See the cool Rex Eye animation. Alright, Aurelia Azir. They're probably going to be a little bit faster than, than us. They get the Sand Soldiers. The Sand Soldiers are really good. We're kind of a meme tier deck for a reason. Let's mulligan the 5 and the 8 mana card. So with having the attack token, we're playing this. If I didn't have the attack token, I would have played Spartan Student just like they did. And then, you know, followed up with, um, you know, Zoe Droplet the next round. Ooh. Spin around, throw it down. Huh. Alright, let me trade. This is going to be interesting. Ready, willing, and learn. You need not follow, but you will witness. All in the shoulders. Sedition. Wow. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. They got an elusive now as well. Um, the serpent can challenge their elusive. Which I should have done this first. All right, I, I need to play this right now to make this a two-two for blocking sand soldier. This is all I'm doing. 
you missed a step. All right, cool. Got a zero out of here. That's important. Glorious sacrifice. All right, well, if I have a backup Zoe... No, this is always just pretty close to leveling up. Oh, you're in for it. Okay, we're at eight out of ten. Close to leveling up to Zoe. Azir welcomes all his subjects. Alright, what do we get? Alright, because let's see. That'd be four, yeah. Double stun. So what would I double stun? I think I just kind of bounce. When you summon another ally, give it plus two, plus one, plus two, plus zero this round. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I just recall the Inspiring Marshal with my slow speed card. Therefore, I'm going to take the Messenger. Musicians. I'm not going to really be able to summon three other allies right now. Let's just play this. Well, I can play that next round and summon three different allies for Field Musician next round. I guess I'm not playing Field Musicians. This would just give me the Behold the Infinite. That costs zero mana. I was thinking about like, you know, like attacking, trading, and then playing New Zoe, playing Field Musicians and New Zoe. But I think this is the way to go, not Field Musicians, New Zoe, is just go with this and I'll go trickster I guess that's better than just killing the green glade duo I must become the leader they need uh oh uh oh yeah maybe I should have killed duo see so just give everything elusive would be pretty cool we play for the people and sing for the land. Maybe I didn't do this correctly. Don't like your tone. Oh, this thing costs six. Okay, I should I would have recalled the Marshall. I forgot that that thing costs six now. 
Right, I, yeah, I was thinking that they were going to be able to replay it with it costing five. I should have done that instead of playing the Field Musicians. Your rhythm's off. Thanks for letting me know. This game's hard. I, I think that my decisions weren't the best the last couple of rounds. I think I could have been in a better position than what I am now. We know whatever this other card is, it's a spell. I don't love to hear that. Oh, I need one more mana. I need one more mana for this lead for Flawless Duet. But you know, like this is this will be lethal with just these elusives if they don't have anything, but yeah, there's that spell. Man, if I had one more mana with Flawless Duet. Oh, That's just... that's not bad. That doesn't help save them. So, they're down to this last card. Okay, awesome. Whew, barely got there. The Elusive Blade. Yeah, I think there was definitely some different lines that could have gone with that game, but ended up getting there. Um, Alright, let's keep these two. See what else we got. Awesome. Ready, willing, and learn. I also prediction and just got to save up the spell mana. Good opening hand. I like the um, prismatics. Good start for the Felior deck with the one two. Show them no weakness. Best Felior one drop and two drop. Good, not Avalanche. Kind of worried about Avalanche there. We got some big sparring students. But this is definitely scary, right? 4-4... Four, four Outriders that just got plus three plus three overwhelmed to something else. That's definitely very scary. Uh, I'm glad we have these bounce spells. Our hand's looking good right now, honestly. Like, if they go Avalanche, we have Deny. If they go Big Scary Thing, we got Bounce. Our hand's looking pretty good. I think I'm just gonna let this happen, take the four, and pass. Let the flames take you. Ember Maiden. Okay. Can't really have that happen. Let's see if we... Equinox? That just makes it like the easiest thing to deal with this. Ice Shard. Gross. What an ice shard. I 
I don't know, am I supposed to be saving sparring student? I don't know, maybe. So you're at seven. Yeah, it takes a long time for this card to level up. You need 14 of these things. The War Mother will unite us all. Warm greetings to you, brothers. Better not have brittle steel. Alright, so that's at 11. We're getting there. Seem good. I think we're going homecoming. Yep, that's the correct challenge. It will be done. So I was wondering if it was going to make this thing cost less, but no, it makes the Zoe cost less. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the rules. Eleven. Hmm. If I do this, I have four mana left. It would level up Aurelia. Yeah, the Rhesus Raider blocking all the blades has been pretty nice for them. Playing these cards. I guess I should have just played this before, I guess. Destiny's Call. I like it. I gotta put the Zoe back in my hand. Yeah, let's go Defiant Dance. If I'm gonna like homecoming the Zoe this round. Yeah, because they do this challenge.
Because I, I need to homecoming because I can't. I don't want to take this overwhelm. I have the opportunity to, to Destiny's Call Zoe. Then they can Sejuani and Frostbite, though. Destiny's, bleh, Destiny's Call is always not lethal. So that's nine mana. Means I'd have three others, so I wouldn't be able to lead Steady and follow. Strike, left foot strike, right foot strike, turn. I think this is probably my best play. Got that out of their hand. Torch it! All of it! Leave only ashes and dust. Breathe it. Oh, that's the a thing. Winter's claw endures. Lots of options. Whether so, I either you know have Zoe get a, a, an attack with the blade dance. I play this thing, or I stun Sejuani. I'll try stunning Sejuani. Every spring, it was your bravery that brought me to the fight. Hmm. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, should have taken the pass, I guess. That's legal. I didn't realize they were playing Noxus. I guess they were playing Noxus. I mean, that was their first Noxus card to see. Yeah, the, the problem with taking the pass is that you know would have frostbitten everything. That was a really that was a really tough game. This is a very difficult deck to play. Zo Got another Zoe deck, Zoe Vi. We have this combo. It's an expensive combo. I don't think I keep it. I kind of want to keep this Destiny's Call, but they are a... You'd assume that this is a Hush deck, and they like Hush, and so therefore Destiny's Call not going to be as good against Hush. I don't really know why I'd just keep a random Ribbon Dancer either. Just won't get that. Okay, we'll trade those. Field musicians, interesting. The Yordle here is with me. So Zoe's more valuable, and so assuming that they would use, they have either another elusive to block or use like a mystic shot or something to kill it, rather than kill the duo than kill the Zoe, which is why I led with the duo. Whoa. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that? 
on the cards I wasn't expecting list top 10. I guess it's going to be Aurelia. Hmm. Show them no weakness. So I'm thinking here it's like Aurelia first, then Field Musicians, and then Wayfinder. Zoe. We got another Zoe. I'm doing this my way. Justice first each this. All right, cool. Enemy approaches the painted shores. Play the song of the fallen, so they might witness our fight. Everyone here, let's go. So I'm leading with this first, so I can refill because so field musicians refills my spell mana, so they could have deny available, right? Like if I if I go with the if I just open attack, I guess I'd still have deny available if I open attack. But you know we could get a much better attack. So that's pretty cool. Wayfinder with Field Musicians. All right, two and two. More. All right, we got Lurkers again. We'll see if we can avenge our first loss. What's to the Lurkers? All right, we'll keep, we'll keep round one Zoe. See what else we get. All right, round one Zoe, round two Gre Green Glade Lookout. Reduce the cost of Sharknado. No, this guy's Sharknado. Zania. Okay, this time they didn't have the vulnerable. You know, remember last time they went, you know, vulnerable shark and And killed Zania. I think I'm just going to attack. I kind of want Twin Disciplines and save the lookout. I think I do. Be able to, you know, because it's like my main thing to kill these. These guys. And so, like, if they go, like, yeah, they go Snapjaw. All right, we make Zania cost six. That's good. I can learn from watching you. That should be Rexai again. I can defy a dance my own Zoe, so then it doesn't die. I like that plan. Let's go. All right, go. Let's go for double stun. Yes, double stun. And then they don't get to attack at all. They don't get to do the whole Rex Eye thing. Don't get to double lurk. Double stun. I would normally want to play Green Glade Duo, but I guess we got to play Field Musicians. And so therefore I'm just going to open attack. Because then we Field Musicians because we can go Zinnia next round. I guess Zinnia is only two units, isn't it? It's not three. Hmm. I guess that was the problem with not playing field musicians first. Play for the people and sing for the land. I 
Why don't we get three units? Because you're only two, right? Yeah, you're only two. Dang, these things get so big. Ugh. What are we doing now? Yeah, just I need two I need two power things, not these one power things. I guess I'd need to play the duo. Um man, I don't so We gotta block with both. Man, this is just not good. This is not good. If I would have played the field musicians last time, then I could have had my sparring student block the snapjaw, I would have saved four life, the snapjaw would be dead. Our life would have been a lot better. I really need to play that field musician before the attack. Things are so good. <laughs> one mana and two mana. Yeah, they're just too. They're too big. They're too many. One mana, six power things. Why are you doing that? You're just letting me get a double stun, which I guess does a double. Stun. Yeah, or you're just letting me do this. Okay, yeah. We'll show you like they could just attack. Zania steal in the game. What is up, Zania? Zinnia! Stealing the win! Alright, Zinnia's Destiny. We didn't get to Destiny's Call to Zinnia, but we did get to steal a game against Lurkers with Zinnia. So, can't be mad at that. Uh, it was looking real bad for us that whole, that whole game. But, uh, you know, that's what Zinnia is all about. So, you know, pretty cool little card here. Being elusive every time you Blade Dance gets to attack. Um, well, underrated card. I like the Green Glade Lookout. Green Glade Lookout really did its thing. Uh, reducing the cost of stuff. I thought the Green Glade Lookout looked good. And yeah, there we go. Field Musicians uh, did really good that one game that I guess we we're probably winning anyway. But a nice meme tier deck, right? This is what meme tier decks are about, right? Like they're about uh, doing cool things that you don't normally get to see. Right, and so stealing games there with you know with this eight mana card that you just don't see played very much at all, even if it is an epic Zinnia Steel Crescendo with Trifarian Hopeful. That Noxus card is here in the art. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Zinnia's Destiny. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck or other meme tier ideas. I know we've gotten a lot of new cards recently. So there's a lot of meme tier cards that we need to try out, but we got some donation decks to do first um, and uh, we're gonna continue on. So thank you so much for watching some Zinnia's Destiny and I'll see you for the next video.